Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another RTR Imperium Serectum challenge video as the Illyrian Kingdom. I have read a lot of the comments from the beta testers previous to this patch coming out, and a lot of them say it's very, very difficult. So um, let's see how we get on. Very hard, very hard, of course. Let's get on to the campaign map. Well, here we are as the Illyrian Kingdom, guys. And as you can see, it's not exactly the same as some of the other challenge videos that we have done in the past. Normally, we start with a nation that has one or two provinces, and we try and build it from there. The Illyrian Kingdom, on the other hand, starts with six provinces ready to go. Six cities and towns, should I say, ready to go. The thing that makes it so difficult, though, is the fact that it borders so many other factions. You've got the Greek city-states, the Illyrians... The Labaeateans, the, Dard uh, the Dardanians, I believe, as well, and the Macedonians, and the Epirotes. So six factions it borders, and on very hard, basically every single faction will want to attack us. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> first things first, let's get Extreme Mode on. I've not actually done a... Uh, a test run of this guy so this could go terribly wrong like that first Paphlagonia video which would be quite funny to be fair we do have Mytilos the Taulantian over here who we are going to take out straight away we're going to leave behind the slave javelin men and honestly I think in terms of our enemies I think we just get stuck into the Macedonians <laughs> they're going to be at war with Epirus already so yeah I mean the Labaeateans are our allies the Illyrian kingdom is neutral to us at the start. And how about the Greek city-states? They're at war with us. Okay, that definitely does change things. We're going to get this general into there. And we're going to come across this way. I'm going to join up these guys in the army as well. So we actually have a decent-sized army. It's not a great army, especially in terms of the infantry. But it's not awful, nonetheless. And what I wanted to do was potentially get a draw-out battle there on these boys. And take this city right at the start of the game. So I've adjusted all the tax rates to as high as they can go, guys. And we are going to use our money to basically spam out as many troops as we can. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't think building buildings right now is really going to help us too much. I think the only way we can really help ourselves is with conflict at the moment. So that is the first turn done. So let's end the turn. I will move my spy... Um, however, just to see if the Macedonians decide that they want to come to party. We are at war with Epirus as well. So, I guess it's going to be the Greek city-states and Epirus we go to war with. We are neutral with the Antigonids. Don't think that's going to last very long. <laughs> well, there we go. On to turn two, guys. And we are instantly in severe debt, which is great. So, what I'm going to try and do is get our spy to open the gates over here. He did survive, which is always a good sign. Um, but no. <laughs> Classic. He didn't open the gates. I bet he will open the gates on the second turn. The Greeks did remove, you know, half their army. So that is a good thing. Hopefully they'll attack us. That would be really good. The Lebeotians probably are going for all Kineon. That's what they normally uh, tend to do. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all we can do this turn. So uh, let's get off it and uh, keep on going. We are actually going to try and get an alliance with the Antigones for now. Because that would secure at least one of our borders. We are both enemies of Epirus. So hopefully that's going to be, you know, a good thing. I'm also going to go up to Dardania and see whether we can do the same thing. I don't want to get attacked proposal. from that side. Okay. Okay. That is okay. I... I think that's only because it's really early game, but they probably will betray us at some point. <laughs> well then, guys, it looks like the Greeks are not going to engage us. So, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I pressed on the siege there, but okay. So, we are going to get into this fight. Should be really easy, to be fair. A few hoplites, which are going to be quite difficult to take out, but hopefully we can, uh, we can break them somehow. So, let's go. Well, here we go. Coming through the gates now, guys. We are going to get these Cretan archers, which, of course, are a very good archer unit. We all know that. One of the best archer units in the game. One of the best missile units, should I say, in the game as well. But they should not be able to stand up to us in melee, even if we are going to be pummeling them um, with our speary boys. So, uh, let's go. Well, here we are, guys. We are just going to do the classic bait and switch. 
and try and get our missiles to fire at these boys. It looks like they're not quite able to. So we might have to just get one of these sort of archers. Well, here we go. Their general is now off the town square. That is very good for us. So we are going to try and get our cavalry through as well as our boys. Straight in the back of there. These guys are going to fire their javis. That should be very nice for us. So here we go. This should be good. This should be good. Nice and surrounded. And we should be able to kill them all with a few javis going into them as well. Hopefully we can break them. That is the main the main plan here. And there we go, guys. Finally, we have destroyed uh, this hoplite unit. Hopefully, we can kill them all. And then we'll hopefully, we can drag this hoplite unit off the town square as well. Well, we're going to try a risky tactic now. We're going to run past them, which actually did work. Uh, they didn't even flinch. And then we're going to bring some of these uh, boys around to try and fire into the town square at them. I mean... Actually, even the Axemen would work for this. So maybe we can get the Axemen to fire at them now. That would be very good. Come on, boys. Get in there. Got our cavalry coming through too. <laughs> Don't mind them. How far? Surely you can fire. Let's uh, get you on fire at will. That, that's probably why you weren't firing, let's be honest. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they're going to come off the town square now. Not many javelins going into them. We need a few more than that to actually kill one to drag them off. But uh, hopefully we do kill one and get them off. Well, there we go. Here they come. So, uh, yeah, we are going to try and squish them and hopefully break them. Should be nice and quick. Hopefully they don't want to go back onto the town square. But I guess we'll find out. There we go. Perfect, my friends. Perfect. That is fantastic. We just need to hold them off for another two minutes and we'll be good. Well, generally, I think we did a really good job there, guys. Let's see the damage. 121? Really? Who took the losses? The Spearman. I guess it's just kind of a, a mix of all of the infantry units. Just all took a few losses against the Greek Hoplites. Fair enough. We are on very hard, so I can't complain too much about that. Decent victory nonetheless. Let's go. And I think the first thing we're going to do is enslave this because it isn't our land, of course. So uh, it is Greek and Cesarethos has expanded already. Unfortunately, we don't have any money to do anything about that. And also, we've got rioting over here too. So uh, <laughs> yeah, Ooh, we, we got a Hellenic Grieve. That's quite cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we've got to pick our next target. Well, to keep them happy, unfortunately, we have to leave two units behind which is a bit annoying but i think we'll be able to swap them out in a little bit and we are just going to go straight for oricon here because it's kind of split off from the rest of the uh Epiro areas so it should be a little bit easier to take it's only got a single guy in there as well i am wary of Epiros's Epiros's starting stack definitely because it does have phalangites in and even if they are trash phalangites we definitely can't kill them at the minute so let's end the turn there go though guys and we are sort of on the way to um getting a little bit more stable maybe <laughs> we'll see well i think we know what that means guys oh, <laughs> right then let us go on to oricon we are going to just auto resolve that we didn't even lose any men in that i think we'll just occupy oricon because it's so poor anyway the problem is fighting epirus just doesn't even bring us that much guys because this land is just so poor already i mean minus that upkeep um yeah it's already just so poor we could go after the illyrians because like i say they have offered us trade rights so it is likely that they are going to just attack us uh pretty soon so hmm where's that spy let's get that spy out and let's have a look around well i think we'll go for Phoenike guys though but it does have a deuteroy in so <laughs> That is a little bit annoying. It just depends what they do with those Deuteroi. They could do something very annoying with it, or it could be a really easy fight. But I guess we'll find out. We're nearly making money, though, now, which is always good. Also, let's uh, see if we can uh, open the gates here. That would be good. And wow, look at that, guys. The uh, Alexandros is in that army as well. So I think even if we open the gates here, we're going to have to fight this army. That is not ideal and he did open the gates and we can't do a night battle <sighs> could we win this could we win this two zister four a three phalangites two hoplites and thurio four in that army plus obviously this army oh, i i don't know i 
I'm not sure that's winnable, my friends. I'm not sure that is actually winnable. But it'll be brutal. If we lose this, we go out in a blaze of glory, don't we? So um, let's just check where they're coming from. So they are coming from the top left. So we want to be on the top left to try and stop these guys getting into the city. Let's go. Well, we can't actually currently see where these guys are coming in from. So I'm going to hedge our bets and put the army there uh, and probably send these guys up this way just to just to scout out, see what's going on. Well, there we are. We uh, have basically totally missed them. So let's get uh, across straight away. Looks like they're going to go all the way around. That's fine. I mean, the other thing we could do is just take the city and fortify it. The problem is with those phalangites on the city, that could be a bit of a nightmare. Although, we could just, like, defend the gates and try to get rid of the phalangites. Honestly, I don't mind that idea at all. So, let's try that. It'll be interesting. So, while that is going on, we are just distracting the enemy with our uh, missile cap. Seeing what we can do. Seeing what damage uh, we can do to them. Um, what we're going to do, though, I am going to leave a hoplite here, basically just to defend these gates and hold them off as long as possible if they do decide to uh, to come into the city, which hopefully they don't do for a little while. Oh, my God. Pause this to four. They are getting absolutely shredded here, and the army has barely moved. So um, I think we're going to be in the ascendancy here if we can get our plans off properly. Oh, dear. What is going on here? Apparently, our... Uh, Apparently, our noble spearmen have decided to get into the action already. Not sure that was the plan. I mean, I literally just said them to go here. So, I don't know what they're doing. And we do want to keep our noble spearmen because, of course, they are a very good unit. Oh, yeah. They were supposed to go there. That's the problem. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's try and get our cavalry around this way. Yeah, I think that is the play. Where are this cavalry going? Okay, they, they're decent. They're in a decent spot. Now we've got phalangites coming this way, guys. We need to just, just disengage from that. Also, I want to save the rest of my noble spearmen from getting killed. So, yeah, we're going to try and maybe uh, disengage slightly here. And for some reason, the noble spearmen decided to run away, which is rather embarrassing. Where are you going? Why are you routing around that way? You idiots! Route that way. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. That is just dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. But anyway, let's try and get this uh, this guy off the town square. Well, there goes their general's bodyguard. I'm hoping we can try and f pull this Deuteroy off the town square. That'd be amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to throw a few Javis into them. And then we're going to come this way. In fact, cavalry, just stay back. Stay back, cav. Stay back, cav. We don't want to mess around anymore. We just want to pull them off. Just want to pull them off the town square. Um, here we go. Come on, cav. Just get there. Just get there, cav. There we go. This is better. And then we can surround them with these boys. Okay. No. Oh, my God. The noble spearman. Why are you routing through the town square? It makes zero sense, bro. <laughs> Could just route that way. They literally could just route that way, but no. They've got to route through the middle of the fucking Deuteroy. Are you joking? That makes no fucking sense. Why? <laughs> like, how dumb is that? Like, what? They could just go out of there. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? I'm glad you're fucking dead, you stupid idiots. Honestly. Jeez. Honestly. If you're that dumb, you deserve it. You deserve it. Well, here we go, boys. Here we go. Hopefully, these guys will path okay off the town square. And if that's the case, we can charge these boys. We're going to get them to fire into them. Fire. Come on, men. Fire. 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 Everyone fire. And just charge them. It's fine. As long as you charge them, I'm happy with that. So we can push them off the town square. And, uh, yeah. Come on, boys. Go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. And then we can take... The town square. These guys, this army is literally just focused on um, on these units. So we're just going to keep distracting them with them. Good commander. I'm assuming this commander has zero skill. You absolute dumbo, Alexandros of Epirus. You absolute dumbo. 
Well, there we go, guys. We actually broke the deuteroid. So now we can just get on the town square and wait for two and a half minutes. I don't think they'll even get here within two and a half minutes. They're still just going after these boys. And look, there's the three, the three spearmen. Well done, guys. You did a great job there. Well done. <laughs> you idiots. And there, and there we go, guys. <laughs> that second army just did nothing. We still lost a load of men, especially against the Deuteroy. And obviously, all of our noble spearmen, because they decided, rather than routing the, the way where there was no one, they routed through the middle of the Deuteroy. So, well done. If, we hadn't have, if that hadn't have happened, we probably would have lost about 100 rather than 192. But, I mean, it's still okay against such good troops. It is a little bit scary, though, that they still have this army ready to go as well though well for Fenike, let us enslave as well so we can hopefully keep them happy that has meant their army has gone into there hopefully um the macedonians decide to come and put the power down on them. that has gave us some cash though i am very happy about that it's still going to take a long time before we can uh, actually get anything of worth um, in terms of retraining troops or anything. Let's have a look at what is available here. It's just standard Greek roster. If it's just standard Greek roster, guys, destroy this. We, we do not need these. They're just costing us money and costing us turns where we can actually be in the positive for our cash. Now, we don't have much left of an army. That is the only issue here. Like, what do we do now? What do we do? That is the problem. So, I think I've decided, guys, we're going to just keep on going along here. We're going to try and take Ambrakia before Macedon gets to it. Korkira has a uh, Deuteroy in. These ones just look like they just have generals in. So, I'd much rather take them. I'd probably even much rather auto-resolve them than do anything. So, uh, yeah, we may still get attacked by this army. I'm just kind of banking on uh, Macedon being helpful here. I know that is a bit silly, but we've just got to hope. <laughs> we've just got to hope. Well, 100% we shall take okay. that. Well, Epirus is hiding like a coward in their, <laughs> in their building. Also, yeah, Fenike isn't too happy. Um... <laughs> I don't know what we can do. Maybe uh, grab one of these guys. 60% isn't good either. Uh, oh, well, we can actually move one of these boys into there that are waiting to join our army. Go here. Get you in there. Good. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's go back there and make sure we don't get killed because we do need those boats. Um, I am surprised Macedon hasn't attacked us yet. All the Illyrian Kingdom, but... I am 100% sure that it is going to come very soon. Right then, on to Kikiros, guys. We are just going to auto-resolve because it's just a general. And our general is quite good. He's got 52 men in that general's bodyguard. We're going to leave behind the Illyrian noble spearmen. What do we have here then? Where is our spy? Let's come and have a cheeky little gander. Okay, that's a hoplite rather than a uh, deuteroy. That is definitely very helpful. That, though... We would probably lose against that. <laughs> anyway, just with this army. Especially in a siege battle. So I'm wondering if we leave behind those noble spearmen, how unhappy are you? 55%. It's not even that bad, really. Um, you got a trade increase. He's an affluent aristocrat now. I mean, we could just keep on going for these ones with single generals. I mean, I think we will. I think we just want to take as much land as possible, just to have as much money as possible, so we can go and retrain this army, come back, and be confident that we can beat the Epirotes. Uh, okay, wait wait a sec. Let's cancel this uh, and see if we can open the gates for the boys. Let's go. Wait, was the spy killed then? Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh, spies, man. Spies. They die a lot. They die a lot. <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? That is so strange. Why did he sally out and die? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> well done, Illyrians. <laughs> Not Illyrians. We're the Illyrians. <laughs> Everest. Well, on to the next turn, guys. And I think what we're going to do... 
because these areas are so upset, I'm gonna see what we can do by like leaving this guy behind because he's quite damaged in the donut. The donor's actually happy at the moment. I'm gonna go across to here. I'm gonna do that. We do now have some backup troops. I'm gonna wait until that is done though. Do we have anywhere we can recruit garrison troops? I mean, Yuzonoi is not really a great garrison troop. Here, though, the Slave Javelin Men, absolutely fantastic garrison troop. Really cheap, really easy. Uh, and also, we've got the Southern Illyrian Levy 2. What's your upkeep? 567, not bad. So we're going to recruit all of those. That'll allow us to replace our garrisons over here. I do kind of need to, to get an extra garrison in there, which I should have done this turn. But I wonder if they're happy enough now. They are actually happy enough now. So uh, how unhappy are you now? Oh, 105%. Plenty happy for the boys. 2,400 to go. And we've got two towns that have expanded that we need to uh, upgrade. Which, yeah. Um, don't think that's a priority right now. <laughs> okay. And this time they sallied out with the big army right next to us. Luckily, though, they literally only have a general and a Greek archer in the city. So if they actually do sally out, we might be able to win this. If not, we're going to have to withdraw. But <laughs> let's get into the, the battle, shall we? I think we're just going to have to use our brain here, guys. Like, I know you want to see these big, brutal battles, but... We can't beat this one-on-one -on, -one on the field. We have to be dirty here. We have to be filthy, not just dirty, absolutely filthy. So uh, let's go. And once again, I have been caught out by the goddamn Sally out. They are coming in literally right behind us and the gates are open. Let's go, boys, then. I think we're just going to try and use our cavalry here. Literally don't care about anything else. Just get everyone inside the city. Just go. This is going to be a horde rush. An absolute bum rush into the center. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Go, 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 go. Where is their general, by the way? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. Well, we're literally chasing them into the town square. I don't mind fighting the Greek archers on the town square. Because, obviously, they're not going to be very good, are they? And there goes their general. Uh, we should absolutely shred him. There we go. And now we just get everyone. Everyone, come and kill them. Oh, my God. This is chaos. I, I should have slowed that down. <laughs> What an idiot. But anyway, um, I don't mind being dumb every now and then. There we go. And uh, now we just wait to see what they do. Um, so we probably just need to defend the town square. I don't think they're even going to be here within two, two and a half minutes. So I know filthy tactics once again, guys. But um, in these challenge situations you've seen before, guys, you've got to use every single tactic to your advantage. You can't mess around like you've got to just take as little losses as possible and this is the most effective way of doing it so we're min maxing we're min maxing <laughs> well there we go i know it's a shame guys i know you want to see me struggle to win that battle but i just don't think it's possible again we only lost 11 men uh sorry we only yeah we literally only lost uh, 11 men only 10 apparently with the the people healed so that by far was the best way to do that battle. So uh, another city is ours though, guys. Another city is ours. And once again, we're going to enslave. Well, another candidate for adoption, guys. Let's absolutely accept that. Wow. And Pissaron literally just has city barracks in there. That is just free cash for us. Thank you, Epirus. Thank you very much indeed. Honestly, now I think we want to go and retrain this army. This place has got walls now, so we don't, we can't really do much about that. How unhappy is Pissaron? Incredibly unhappy. We can't even retrain those boys, so I'm going to pop out of there. How unhappy? 65%. It's not even bad. Hmm. I'm wondering if just that guy can hold the donut. 70%. Okay. Good. So that is a few troops we've managed to take away from garrisoning that can actually get retrained or are actually going to be useful. Um, so that is that is a good start. Ah, and they've blockaded my ship. That's naughty of you, Epirus. Very naughty indeed. The problem is I don't want to, like, leave my men out and about because they might get attacked. Although we can retreat. 
But then if they retreat into, say, Fenike, then they could siege it down and just destroy our whole army. So, yeah. Not ideal, really, is it? <laughs> and I think with the rest of our money, we're getting a load of garrison troops. I think with the rest of our money, let's get more troops. Um, I just think the Southern Illyrian Spearmen, they are just by far the best troops we can get. And now we can actually repair the walls that we have uh, destroyed on our travels, which is a, a good good thing to do, just so that the enemy can't get in straight away. Um, and I'm considering having a look to see whether we can get some better cavalry from somewhere. I think Epidamnos would be the best option, but we only have a level 2 recruitment here, so even... Like, level 2, uh, we can't get Zistaphoroi. So, yeah, that's, that's not great. Um, what would we be able to get level 2 for us? Oh, we could get Illyrian Noble Cavalry, but that's third tier. Third tier stables. So, yeah, I think we'd have to be a minor city. Uh, yeah, we'd have to be a minor city for that. Oh, dear, 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 dear me. Um... Well, with the rest of our money, let's build a port there. That's going to produce quite a bit of cash for us and maybe some land clearance in Oricon as well. And we're instantly basically making no money, guys, and everywhere is rioting. Again, they should stop rioting next turn, though. Um, but they did destroy a few things, and you can see we're, we're making no money, so we can't even retrain this army now because we got those garrison troops. So... We may have to destroy a few things. <laughs> yeah, I think that's literally the only option is just to destroy buildings to get enough cash to retrain this army. Because we can't just mess around with this half stack anymore. It's terrible. Um, so yeah, we, we really do need to consider destroying a few more buildings. Unfortunately though... We didn't really get many destructible buildings in here, although we have the Oracle of Dodona. I'm assuming that will give us nothing. Yeah, 266, not enough. We need thousands here. We need thousands. So we may even have to destroy some of our own buildings, which is a bit of a shame, to be fair. It is quite a bit of a shame. But like, you know, like some of these, like this over here, does it need the Illyrian recruitment number three? Not, not really. So we may, we may have to destroy that. Ah, yes, and we have the glorious potato over here. What a man! What a man! Where are you, Tato? Where are you, Mr. Potato? And Plurias is fond of Dalmatian carrots. What a man! Yes, I mean, um, I'm not sure whether that's a euphemism or not. <laughs> We have managed to retrain our army, though, and it is a lot better now. It's it's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. So I think we can come back to Epirus with a bit more confidence now that we can maybe take the rest of the settlements and see whether we can destroy some of these armies and maybe the big one as well. Maybe the big one, but those phalangites are just brutal. Well, I have no idea where their big army has gone. And by the way, we uh, we afforded those retrainings by destroying the recruitment building in here. Oh, they keep on training troops, man. These two sieges are really annoying because you have to play them. Otherwise, you tend to lose loads of troops. But, like, they're so... Oh, my God. I was going to say they're so boring to, uh, to fight. Uh, but... The Epirotes decided to try and ambush us. That was an actual very, very good setup point for their army. But they failed. So I guess we're forced to fight these guys. Let's go. Um, lots and lots of phalangites. So we need to get cavalry dominance as soon as we start this battle. Let's go. Well, the good thing about this is the fact that we will be defending. So they do have to attack us. Not going to lie, I am incredibly worried about this battle, guys. Those phalangites are going to be so, so difficult to take on. Are these guys just going for the charge? I kind of want you to fire at the phalangites, guys. But it's okay if you don't. So let's try and get our cavalry around the sides. We're going to have to try and kill... Their cavalry. Our general's bodyguard now has 63 men. What a boy. What a boy. Now we've got so many javelins coming in. This should hopefully kill some of these deuteroi. Come on, boys. And then I think we're just going to retreat slightly behind the lines. There we go. Who's this? 
That's the Rio 4, right? Let's get back behind the lines. What is that? That's also a Greek hoplite. So, uh, yeah, we need to get cavalry dominance ASAP. ASAP. Well, here we go, guys. Charging into the middle, into the Zista 4, right? Around this side. We're also going to try and uh, snipe their general with our uh, missile boyos. And then we're going to charge him two. And then that is literally it. Like, we don't have much left to do after that. We're still firing jabbies, but they're not doing much damage to the old Deuteroy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get back. Get back. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Half of the Zistaphore went for the charge. Half just decided to, to run away. Right, there we go. We've got them now. And here come the Phalangites. This is, this is the real moment of truth, like whether we can actually stand up to these boys or not. But I think we can beat that Zista 4A quite handily. Well, the problem we have here is that they have been slightly sensible and actually left men behind to deal with my cavalry, which is a good idea. So we are going to try and just uh, flank these Phalangites with our men here and maybe try and engage some of these guys in the center too. So, yeah, we just need to try and flank them. There we go. That's good. That is very nice indeed. Let's come back with our cavalry. We're going to use all of our cavalry, no matter the uh, the strength of it, even the uh, the progemoy in that, because I think that's what we just have to do right now. Oh, the hoplites. Look at them. That's a good idea, hoplites. Well done. Good maneuvering. All right, we're going for a slightly risky charge here. Slightly risky because the phalangites are right next to us. But I think we've just got to take this opportunity. I'm going to rally the general so he doesn't die. To charge right into the back of those hoplites and completely break them. There we go. I don't think they have a general anymore. I think their general has died. So there we go. We're going to just march through them slightly and then come out. Come out, boys. Come out. There we go. And now we can fully focus on flanking uh, these boys. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good little maneuver there. Good little maneuver. Right, then now we are going to try and charge the uh, the missile boyos because they are firing a few javies into the back of our men and we cannot abide by that. And look at this. This Deuteroy is getting absolutely shredded by our Axemen because the Axemen are actually flanking well. That is very nice indeed. So, uh, yeah, let's try and uh, escape this uh, Deuteroy once again. And, yeah, we don't really want to be sandwiched, double sandwiched by that Deuteroy, but... Um, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, now we've killed that one. Let us uh, set up. Let's kill these Athamanians too. Athamanian Peltas, by the way, are really good units. So, uh, well, not really good. They're decent. They're decent skirmish units, of course. So, yeah, we just need to be slightly wary here. You guys into the back of that Thurio Foroy. And there we go. We're just absolutely savaging some of these boys at the moment, which is... Pretty good for us. Pretty good for us. We just need to try and get this guy engaged in the battle. Well, I think now we have the perfect person. We do have some Southern Illyrian Spearmen ready to uh, get engaged in the Deuteroy. So, yeah, now we can actually properly get behind these Phalangites. I mean, look at that blob. I think that's a double unit blob there. It's not nice. Oh, my God. What is happening to this unit? Like, why are you going mental? Where are you going, bro? Like, why are you running over there? <laughs> Right, we're gonna, we are gonna charge them. It is very painful charging phalangites, guys, because even if they have their back turned, you will see a lot of men die unless they rout instantly like that. Let's just go straight onto the next one then, if we can. Hopefully the general doesn't get killed by this, and we can just rout them by overwhelming numbers. They are still steady though. They are still steady. Shaken, not stirred. Come on, boys, stir them, stir them. No, 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 no. Get out before we lose all of our cavalry, please, boys. This Ambrachio is wavering, though. That is a um, very good sign. Well, here we go. We've got our infantry in position now to fully surround these two. Oh, two. Yeah, two Deuteroy units. Not sure it'll break them, but it will allow us to, uh, you know, get a lot of kills off because we'll be fighting them from the back. They're going to turn. Okay, so they have done a back-to-back -back situation there. That's... Uh, <laughs> It's a little bit scarier, so I think we just need to go for the, the kill shot here. Go for the charge. Rally the men. Our guys are exhausted. No, they're very tired, not exhausted. But let's just make sure that they uh, that they don't turn their spears. Okay, they have kind of turned them. But I think we can get a little bit of damage off. I just need to break them. We just need to break them. They're steady, though. This guy's wavering. Ooh, this is just so tight. I mean, we're going to win, obviously, but 
yeah, we've also sent our other cavalry off to uh, to chase down some of these troops. Because, of course, I think that is the best option. Well, there goes one of the uh, Deuteroi. So that should really help us kill this other Deuteroi. There we go. Let's see if we can uh, break them. They are shaken at the moment. What we're going to do, guys, is uh, just a cheeky little tactic that you guys can use as well in your battles. So you can see here, they're wavering. We don't need to actually get our cavalry in the fight right now. If I press Alt here now, you can see, uh, distraught over the number of enemies. And that is likely because we have brought our cavalry really close. So we can try and make that even a bigger effect if we want to. These guys have stood up so well against the Phalangites. I'm very impressed by that. But you can see, wavering. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't get involved in that fight, my friends. I know you want to fight. I know you're eager, but uh, not today. So we're just going to keep our cavalry here for now and see whether we can finally break either one of these. And it almost instantly worked, guys. These guys are now uh, routing, which is very good for us. Fantastic. Let's see what we can do with our cavalry. You guys chase down them. And then we've just got one final unit to kill, which is these Ambarachios. So yeah, I want these guys to run away so that we can chase them down, please. There we go. And I'm going to chase them with my light troops because my light troops should be fresh and fast. Well, there's this little exposed bit of that, uh, of that unit there. So we're going to try and charge and hope that we can maybe hit them right on that bit with a couple of the cav. There we go. Killed a couple of them. Hopefully, this is going to allow them to break. Oh, glorious. Okay. That was, a, that was a nice battle, guys. We've lost a lot of men, but a decent battle nonetheless. A nice little victory for us. We are going to continue and try and kill this whole army. Well, there we go. Look at that. So we lost 700 men. We do still have 935 men remaining, but a lot of those are missile troops, of course. But we killed nearly 1,200. Very nice. General doing absolute bits there. Same as the Southern Illyrian Axemen, 196. They lost a load of men, but they killed a lot. They are kind of like glass cannons, the uh, Illyrian Axemen, because they're armor piercing, so they do a lot of damage, but they themselves have like no armor. So <laughs> they are basically glass cannons. Um, but very nice. Good victory, my friends. It looks like we did fully destroy them. Yeah, enemy army routes. Nice. Come on, the boys. Let's go. At Lissos, we got a Southern Illyrian Axeman too, so we are going to bring them towards the fight. But yeah, I think we just go for a few more sieges. It would be nice to know, like, what's in that army. If we just pop there, can we actually see? We can, well, we can see that there's a general there, but that's, you know, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I think we just auto-resolve a couple of these. Okay, no. It's got Deuteroy. Oh, man. Oh, so annoying. I bet all of these have Deuteroy in, which is just going to be so annoying to deal with. But um, what can you do? What can you do, my friends? Uh, we have a treachery. Where is that? My lord? Is that my diplomat? I mean, doesn't look like anything else. I don't think we lost any land. Did we not lose? I don't think we lost land. I think that must just be a diplomat. Uh, that's fine. I, if you want to waste your money bribing my diplomats, I really don't care. Right, we're going to risk something here, guys. <laughs> Wait, we lost. We even lost. We lost that siege. And they, they lost about 20 men. <laughs> That is, that is a serious, serious joke. Um, well, that's going to put us back a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> Never auto-resolve, kids. Never auto-resolve. And it begins, guys. The Antigonids have attacked us now. Strange place to, to attack us to start with. But yeah, we, we don't have much to uh, to fight that back. <laughs> oh, God. oh, that is not the one. All of this could have been prevented. 
all of this literally could have been prevented. And we can literally only re retrain like two units. Oh, God. Um, we're going to have to delete some more buildings, basically, I think. Oh, dear, 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 dear me. All of this could, pre could have been pre prevented by not pressing auto-resolve, bro. <laughs> uh, well, let's get rid of that at least. That's some extra money. Not much, but it is something. I don't really care about these javelin men. I do care about the cavalry, though. But yeah, we're going to make enough money to retrain everyone next turn? Absolutely not, so... Yeah, I mean, even here, like, grain imports, can we get rid of that? That is some money. But, like, these, like, Temple of Dionysus is, like, nothing. Like, it's, it's not even worth it. Oh, at least it allows us one more. I don't think we'll be able to get those three done next turn. But it, it'll be close, guys. It'll be close. Well, the Antigonids are saying, accept or we will attack. I mean, I'm actually going to accept this, okay. guys. <laughs> Yeah, that might hold them off. I doubt it, but it might. <laughs> oh, dear, dear me, guys. And look at that. Look, look how quickly Epirus has built up another army. That is absolutely insane. And we can only retrain one more unit. <sighs> and we've lost all our Zistaphoroi. Labeateans are probably going to attack us now as well. Would be nice to have that diplomat now. Because I wouldn't mind getting a ceasefire with the uh, Epirotes. Another one. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the Antigone has betrayed us. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we've unfortunately had to destroy a load more buildings. Um, just to retrain those boys. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's not great. And these guys are gonna definitely going to take the city this turn. Oh, dear. Oh, well. And as expected, guys, um, I think they've got three rams. So I don't think we'll be able to destroy them on the battlefield. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just auto that. And another general, guys. We've got to take that. Absolutely. We are going to take those three generals because that is going to be our uh, sort of attack, guys. So let's go. They didn't. Okay, they did take the city of Damale. But what I was thinking is, if we go for Lycnidos, I, I Yeah, I, I don't think I want to deal with uh, Epirus anymore. Like, this land is so poor. 114 we're making from Dodona. Um, I think that's with the uh, upkeep, which... Yeah, about 700. So we are actually making some money from that land. But yeah, I think we just go ham into Macedon. Now, where is Rich? I mean, Pella... We could just go straight for Pella, boys. I think we take Lycnidos first, though, if we are going to go for Pella. We could go through that way and onto Pella that way. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think I think that's good. Let's uh, let's try that. Let's see what we can do. If they leave this, we are just going to go and kill that army because we need to get rid of it, and we're back losing a load of money. Oh, they weren't wrong about this being hard, guys. They weren't wrong. <laughs> well, Macedon is just reinforcing itself with Admetos the Fair. So we are going to attack that. And that has brought both of those armies together. I, I think we've got to go for this, guys. It's a draw out battle. And hopefully we can destroy all of these units. Again, loads of Chalcospedes. Yeah, this is going to be tight. This is going to be very, very tight. But um, I think we've got a good chance again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Well, here we go, guys. Here we go. I thought they would set up on the hill here, but looks like not. Honestly, do we want to just rush them? They're coming in from there, so I wonder whether we can try and get around this side. So we're kind of facing both of them. I think we do rush. I think we do rush. We're rushing downhill, so... um. Won't take us too long. And I think, yeah, we've just got to get engaged here. We've just got to get engaged uh, and get fighting. Well, here we go, guys. Here we go. We looks like we are about to get engaged in the fighting. We're going to bring the Axemen over this way. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to try and just hold the lines. Remember, we've got two sets of Phalangites to deal with. 
So that is not ideal. We've also got our cavalry. So we're going to try and get our cavalry around the sides as well. Bring these guys up this way to fire some javelins. And uh, yeah, we were already a little bit tired, which isn't fantastic. But uh, there's not much we can really do about that. We had to get a get a bit of a move on. Well, there goes their general. He has decided to charge my axemen. I actually don't mind that. I think we can probably surround him. We've got three generals, remember. And one of the general's bodyguards units is monstrous. You guys should not be firing into there anymore. Uh, we're going to turn that off for you. We're going to try and make you attack them. If we can kill this general, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. You're firing at the wrong person. Fire at the 304, Roy, my friends. How are we looking over here? Okay, they're very spread out on this side. So we do need to, we do need to sort of finish this off quickly but um yeah it's not a huge rush but there we go let's uh, speed this up slightly there we go that goes the general yes come on okay that is brilliant right you guys here please here 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 general guys let's go let's go let's go apart from you two need to get like here i would say and uh this unit let's get behind those uh those chalka speeders very good. We managed to get rid of them. Good. Let's see if we can uh, engage this. What is that? That's another Hippocontistai. So, uh, yeah, we need to just keep on going. What I might do with my cavalry for now is just chill out this way, protect this flank, because we look a little bit unprotected there. Axemen, attack them. You guys into there. You guys into there too. And hopefully we can break these Chalka Speeders. Because remember, Chalka Speeders are pretty darn good, guys. They're pretty darn... No, 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 General. Come on. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Okay, is this the full Roy? I think we can beat that. Let's rally the men. Let's see whether we can uh, catch them off guard. Oh my god! This Chalka Speed has broke. Let's get into that one. Hopefully we can break all of these boys. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Come on, boys. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. How are we doing against the Zistaphori? Oh my god. The Zistaphori is doing very well. <laughs> man, very hard is just something else, man. It is... Extreme, 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 extreme. Oh, wow. The 304 actually came back from routing, and I missed that. So they have just barreled into our uh, our units over here to bring you up as well. The Zistaphori are doing an amazing job. This is really annoying. Like, how is the Zistaphori beating three General's Bodyguards, bro, that had more men? <laughs> oh, man. Very hard is just, just extreme, extreme, extreme. Right. We're going to have to get engaged here. God damn, we destroyed that unit. Just get out. Get out, boys. Just get out. Just get engaged. There we go. If, as long as some of the boys can get out, that's okay. That's okay, because we're in a bit of a mess right now. We're in a bit of a pickle. You guys are going to have to fight them. What we're going to do is bring you, charge them in the back. That is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to bring the cavalry up this way. They need to rest. That is the main issue that we have now. They need to rest. Um... And you guys, we're just going to get you slightly more protected now. There we go. Okay, the 304A broke. Very good. Going to send you guys across this side to protect the flag. Not them. The the bloody uh, hoplites. Come on. And then uh, these guys can stay here. Okay, there goes a charge with Hippocontistai. Okay, Hippocontistai are not that good. So um, we should be okay. Here comes the Zister 4A again. We're going to have to use our light cavalry to uh to fight them this time too because god damn they were they were strong last time oh, but can we beat this that is the question not if all our cavalry dies that is true so yeah we have to be very wary here very wary indeed but there goes another chalga speed as this is just brutal man this is brutal right cav i know half of you are completely exhausted but um you're gonna have to go we need to we need to kill this general we absolutely need to kill this general. Okay, you are one of the levies. Let's get you up and surrounding these boys. Okay, there goes one of the guys. So uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe you can even uh, get them. Oh my god, look how look how slow we are. We're like nearly as slow as the Chalka Speeders right now. <laughs> oh dear. Kill this general, guys. Come on. This is your job. This is your job. Right then, guys. We luckily now just have a massive blob to literally just attack. So, um... Yeah, that's going to be good. I kind of do want to rest my men, though. That is the only issue that we have here. 
If the general escapes, we won't rest. If they do, we will rest. There goes another unit. So let's uh, try fire your javies again, boys. Just hold, 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 hold. There we go. Now fire again. Okay, looks like they're just going to run anyway. No, 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 guys. Stop running. We need you to rest. Oh, there goes their uh, Chalka Speeders again. Looks like... Do they have any other Chalka Speeders? Or is this just like... Hoplites. I think this is all just like hoplites. So that's okay. We're going to try and surround this phalangite though. But there goes uh, their general's bodyguard. We've got the axeman here. Kill that bodyguard if you can. Kill that bodyguard, please. Please, we need to kill him. And once we've killed him, we will, um, we will try and charge. Looks like they are not going to let us rest. So, okay. Nope. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay, boys. Just stay. Just stay. I mean, we just need to surround this guy now. Surely he's got no hit points left. And he actually managed to get the charge off on us, which is interesting. Now let's try and su surround that Halka Speedes. If we can, like, kill this general's bodyguard, all we need is a big charge, and I think we'll be good. So let's speed that up. There we go. That's their king. That was Antigonus. Was that Antigonus? I didn't even realize that that was Antigonus. Now let's try for a charge. Okay, there goes one of their units. Let's see if we can break any more of these guys. Okay, that was the worst charge I think I've ever seen, man. What was that? That was awful. That was really bad. That was so bad. <laughs> How are these uh, Chalk Speeders doing? They're actually getting shredded because they're, they're like, behind. Uh, they're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Right, this time, this charge should be good. So, let's see whether we can actually charge properly this time. Okay, there we go. Broke them. Onto these hoplites and then onto them. Okay, there we go. Come on, boys. Come on. I don't mind how many. Okay, we lost a general. Just if, as long as we don't lose the main one, we're all right. We're all right, guys. We're all right. Okay, that is good. That is good. That is a good result. Oof. This is just this is just savage, man. This is absolutely savage. And then with the six, we're gonna send them in because he's already died, so it it really doesn't matter. Okay, they still have some hoplites here though. So, let's try and charge the ones that are wavering and not the ones that are running. There we go. These guys are still eager. That is not ideal, but we should have won the battle now, which is really good. Well, I think one last charge into these hoplites should be enough, guys. Those guys... Oh, no, that's our troops routing. Okay, now let's kill all of these guys quickly. There we go. Oh, my God. That was brutal. How many... We lost, like, 80% of our men. Oh, my days. Um, does anyone think we might need to retrain again? But again, we're not going to have the money. Great. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my days. Hopefully that... No, so, okay. Philocratos was the second army. It said it was their king. So I'm assuming Antigonus already died. Which is kind of mad. <laughs> but fair enough. Fair enough. He must have uh, been killed in a battle. But uh, or, or he could have just died of old age. He starts relatively old at the start anyway. Um, but yeah. I mean, I hesitate to say glorious, but we won. <laughs> Nonetheless, look how, like, like, our KD was negative, bro. <laughs> oh, well. What a glorious little battle anyway. Let's go. Well, guys, I think we go back to Lissos again. Oh, no. Well, we've got to take the settlement first of Damale. Oh, we could get some money by exterminating Damale, even though it is our settlement. I mean, I'm sorry, Damale. It, it, it had to be done. We need the money right now. <laughs> and because we have, like, nothing left here as well, we might as well just take the money as well so that we can actually retrain some troops next turn. We're not going to train them this turn. We're going to train them next turn. Oh, I am sorry, Damale. Uh, that is kind of saddening, but it really just had to be done. How unhappy are they? They're plenty happy. Let's go back. We're, of course, not going to retrain anyone this turn because that'll mean that we're in the negative next turn. We'll see if 8,000 is enough. And if not, we'll have to keep going. Obviously, one of the guys died. But yeah, this is, this is a brutal, brutal challenge. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there after that, uh, that brutal, brutal battle. <laughs> Uh, if you do want to see a part two of this, guys, if we get to 80 likes, we'll do a part two where we try to maybe clean up Epirus, go into Macedon, try and survive a little bit more. We haven't 
absolutely survived, but we've kind of done enough to keep ticking over in this, and I can 100% see why many people think this is one of the hardest factions in the game. It's very, very difficult, especially with the amount of troops that the AI can just pump out at you, like Epirus and Macedon. Like, we killed all of Epirus's army, and they already have another full stack, like, within, like, a couple of turns, so... Ah, oh, yeah, it's pretty brutal. But I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Uh, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And once again, big thank you to Pascal, to Zero Suit Samus, and David D as the channel members. If you are interested, guys, there's a link in the description down below where you can join as a member from as little as $1 a month. But thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you all again on the next video.